Well, I've been asked to make a statement uh, here in Davos, which is a, a very interesting place where you meet uh, all kinds of different uh, personalities and people. And uh, even though I'm in uh, politics, I was thinking that uh, I might say a few words about uh, innovation and how I see it concerning uh, particularly technology. But I also see that it has uh, a political dimension. Uh, we are facing in the world so many major challenges. I would say that the younger generation today is facing the biggest challenges humankind has ever faced in the past in its history. Uh, and uh, in order to deal with this, we need to work together. Uh, we need to pool our forces, whether it's on climate change, on the financial crisis, on poverty and inequality, uh, whether it's on the issues of migration, multicultural societies we're living in. Uh, but we also need to find innovative solutions, innovation from technical solutions, innovation in politics itself and how we deliberate, how we work, how we use issues like web, uh, platforms like Web2 to, to have interactive, uh, democratic, participative types of solutions. But um, how do we create an environment of innovation? An environment of innovation is not simply chaos, it is creating the necessary platforms. I'll take the example which I think most people know is the, let's say, the iPhone, where you see there is a specific platform. However, there's huge innovation with all the apps that have been developed over the last uh, year or two. Uh, so you have a surge of innovation, but you also have a very secure uh, environment. So if you translate that to politics, that would mean creating societies with a secure environment where people can feel secure, secure enough to take risks, to be innovative, to take initiatives. And that means uh, that uh, we politicians have to create that environment of security, uh, of, uh, of uh, 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 equality, if you like, uh, of uh, good education, of good health services, uh, and also freedom to take initiative. Uh, I would say, of course, that um, looking at what's going on, is what is fascinating for me is how we bring innovation into an area which we don't have too much of innovation, which is education. Uh, and now with these new gadgets, e-books, the Kindles, the iPad, and so on, I believe that um, we're moving into an area where the book will become much more electronic, uh, much more interactive, where you could have a virtual school, uh, a cyber school if you like, and people could uh, both have uh, the uh, the information that they want through the through the net, uh, through the internet, but also uh, be very interactive, and the classroom changing from a sort of hierarchical uh, structure to much more of a gathering, where you uh, share the experiences and your projects you've already developed, and the communications you've had uh, on the net with in a live way in a, in a live in a live group, much more I would say democratic, much more collective much more humane. So in fact, technology can bring a much more humane type of school and schooling and, uh, and much more accessibility for all and much more personalized uh, development of, 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 of information uh, and educational processes from the richer countries to the more to the poorer countries and developing countries. Uh, give access to this common wealth, if you like, which is be, we are creating more and more, which is this common knowledge of humanity uh, which has to be accessible to all.